welcome back. Okay, so, um, like I said, um, as I was, uh, speaking about, uh, platform games or shooters or whatever, um, let me see something here. That's not what I wanted to do. Videos, vlog. Oh, interesting, okay. Properties, that's actually, that's actually 50. Forgive me for doing this. But, I forgot to do it before. Okay, so yeah, I understand that uh, my videos are kind of boring, but uh, it's getting to a point. So, okay, so back to what I was saying. So the way that you make a, let's say, let's say you do it in a game jam and you have some sort of topic and you, you make, you're making a platformer game. Um, usually in a game jam, you want to, um, you want to get something up and running as fast as possible to make an RPG jam. Um... Here, I'm just going to, uh, I guess, play this for just a quick sec. It's only 39 seconds. Um, um, the audio isn't muted over here because uh, I'm not actually in YouTube. That's actually pretty cool. I might want to play that. Um, but, uh, okay, so this 48-hour jam or competition or whatever is, you know, try to make a game in, say, 48 hours. So what you do is uh, you get the theme, and then you decide you're going to... Uh, you don't you, you don't have an idea of what you want to use for the theme. That looks cool, actually. It looks really fun and everything. Bogus Roads, 3D pixel art synthwave racing game. I'm gonna have to play that sometime. Um, but uh, basically, um, so so what you what you do is you go okay. The theme is well, actually what was the game for low res jam so low res jam they had to do something low res okay so th that can be anything right but um usually you get a theme and kind of like oh i don't know what to do um oh i guess I'll, I'll just start by making a platform game or i'll make a you know a, some something some top down or shooter or something and so what you do is you get your systems running so you you get your little guy running on the screen, and then you get him be able to collide with objects, and then be able to jump on platforms, and then be able to what double jump and um, controlled height jump, and you know there's a bunch of different stuff you do. And uh, eventually you build it, and then eventually you make a theme. Maybe uh, maybe it it's, takes place on uh, some volcanic lava planet or something, and so. Um, what was now before just like some ripped graphics from some old game uh you make it into this little dude that's uh, on this volcanic lava planet right and still you don't even really have a story you just have kind of a theme you think this would be cool and so you make some art for it and it looks cool and so you make other levels maybe you make an ice zone maybe you make a whatever and uh traditionally with stuff like adventure games and stuff um they don't really tend to go that route. They tend to go uh, like more like a movie or a cartoon, right? So you have your story, and then you have... Uh, um, this wasn't the way it was originally, I don't think, for like uh, um, the original King's Quest or Mystery House or whatever. But um, for the most part, you have like a design document, and you have what's going to be in the deal, and then you do have puzzles and whatever. It's probably different tons of ways that people do it. But um, you might have a full, full-on, you know, full game design document, which they're not really doing that much, as, as much now, I don't think. But so, so you have all that stuff prepared, and then you do it, and then sometimes things pop up, and you can't add stuff in or whatever. But um, so I'm looking at it from from the perspective of where you. That, that's how you do it. You make this little game, it, it's complete, this little demo, and then you go and the next thing you expand it out, and the next thing you expand it out. Uh, kind of like the way 
most people will do a game anyways. But uh, as for an adventure game, um, you, you can kind of do the same thing. Because you have sections, right? You have scenes, or you have a room, or you have... You know what I'm saying? It's uh, it's one section, it's a room, it's a scene, it's a... You know, you know, what, I'm, you know what I mean? Um, so that's what I am intending to do on my own... Um, That's what I'm inten intending to do. Come on, don't do that to me. Just go where I want you to go. Totally rad through your graphics. Totally rad. But um, I'm thinking uh, I kind of need to do the same thing. Okay, so they have this this idea called either uh, a minimum viable project uh, product, which means you get everything complete but you do in this really small you know the small little demo or it's sometimes it's called a vertical slice which basically it means um, the idea is um, well they say vertical slice but okay the idea is like you have like let's say you have a cake and then um, uh, now you're not doing a wedge like when you wedge out when you actually eat a cake but vertical slice meaning let's say you cut down like vertically and then um you open it up and uh let, let's say let's say it's like a tube like this and then so you cut it down the middle and then you open it up and then you see all the li li different layers of the cake right that would be like a vertical slice in other words everything's in there but it's just a small, narrow, like, um, like piece of your game. And so that's what I was thinking for my game. And uh, now we're coming up on seven and eight minutes. I'm going to finish what I was saying in the next video. And uh, please, uh, please stay tuned for that.